morning. We're already talking about stats being for losers and tattoos on D'Angelo Hall. Yep. It also is mixed bag trivia day. Okay, so today is Eagles versus Bucks, but we've got this wide open MVP race. I don't remember being this wide open five weeks through the season, maybe in recent history. I mean, we're talking about Kyler as a shot, mm -hmm. Dak as a shot. Tom Brady play tonight, might be the front runner. Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. So the game we're going to do, the theme is going to be MVPs, okay, and MVP seasons. Okay. So it's going to be MVP quarterbacks okay. of yesteryear, MVP quarterbacks of today, mm -hmm. and something called the mixed bag, which I'm not really sure about. The producers keep talking about it. It's mm -hmm. this mixed bag can be any question. That's the category? And it's like pop culture related. Okay. All right? Okay. So I'm going to give you guys the choice right, of okay. what category you want. D'Angelo, do you want yesteryear, today, or this mixed bag category? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm out on the tattoo for now. Let me do MVP quarterbacks of yesteryear. Yes, I like that. Old yeah. school. Yes. D'Angelo yes. Hall, let's go back to... Thank you for choosing that. 1997. My favorite okay. quarterback. Brett Favre. Your favorite quarterback? <laughs> Brett Love Favre. Favre. Who doesn't? He won his third straight <laughs> MVP award, but he actually shared it with another Ooh. player. There was co-MVPs that year. Uh -huh. Who was co-MVP with Brett Favre in 1997? Was it Steve Young, John Elway... Barry Sanders or Derek Thomas? Gosh, why do I look so puzzled? Because I feel like I have, I feel like I had no clue he had a co-MVP year. I'm going to probably have to go with, give me Barry Sanders, see. Why, why would you go Barry Sanders? Because I'm thinking he was probably explosive as hell. And, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to think. I don't remember it being Steve Young. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, John Elway, I think, won a Super Bowl in 98, mm -hmm. 97, 98. So maybe John Elway. I'm going to change my answer. No, Y'all just talk me. No, no, no. I okay, didn't say okay. anything. I'm looking Angela. at your eyes. Don't your look eyes at me look at telling him. me He's to change. Don't, but then you're Don't, don't, don't look at me. I'm going to stay. I'm going to go see. I'm going to stay C. Original. C. Yeah. Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders. Barry. Yeah. Yes, the That's correct right. answer is Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I appreciate that. Y'all gave me that one. Mm -hmm. Career high, <laughs> 2,053 yards that season. He closed out the season with over 100 yards rushing in 14 straight games. It's the only NFL season that he actually won the MVP. He was marvelous. Scott Mitchell at quarterback, Herman Moore at wide receiver, and two players in the same division were co-MVPs so cool. wow. in 1997. What's that? There's another co mvp Wasn't it Manning and McNair? McNair, 2003. That's so, right? Yeah. Also the same one. division. Yeah. So we always talk about Barry winning it, like at him being the last running back, but he didn't even win it all by himself. Mm -mm. I didn't know any of this. Well, Adrian Peterson was won MVP. a couple of years he back. Won it by Sean, himself. Himself. Right. Sean, Sean Alexander has yes, won it. He's won it. Yeah. Sean Alexander is MVP. Wow. Yeah. 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 That was a hell of a year. Yeah. Super Bowl yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Would you like I will go of today. MVPs of today. Okay, well, it's very appropriate because we're getting an MVP tonight. Yes. His name is Tom Brady, but his last MVP season was in the 2017 campaign, the same year the Patriots ended up losing, ironically, to the Eagles mm -hmm. in the Super Bowl. So Brady got 40 votes for MVP, but there's 50 votes. Eight of them went to a second place finisher. Oh gosh. This is good. This mm. is a fun one. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong answer. Okay. Actually there is, there's three of them. Um, <laughs> take, take a guess. Who got second place in the 2017 MVP voting? Wentz? Bell, yeah. Gurley, or Alex Smith? It's not Bell and it's not Alex Smith. Is this the 20 touchdown Gurley year? Did he, he would, did he get that many votes? At running back, we always talk about how running backs never get love here. Mm. Is this the year Carson Wentz looked really, really good? His MVP campaign season? This is our second season as a show. It is. He went down That's with how injury I always look at it. 13. I don't, yeah, it is our second year as a show. We were in, we were at that Super Bowl. I don't know the answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to say A, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is a great guest, and he would have won the MVP if he finished his season. Did he get votes? He did not even get second place. Uh, I would have said Wentz, too. Okay, you were right originally. Todd Gurley! Todd Gurley! Uh, Second 20 something in the NFL. He had over 2,000 scrimmage yards. He had 13 oh. rushing touchdowns, and he was part of the number one offense in the league. He was so fun. That was first year with Sean McVay. They would lose mm -hmm. to the Falcons in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. But out of the this was the big one. In Tennessee, everyone's like, is this team for real? Then Gurley's like, I'm going to gash you for 80 yards on the screen pass. <laughs> and John Williams came out and conducted the Star Wars theme and the E.T. theme on SNL. Nice. Everyone loved Jurassic Park. It was a great <laughs> song. I mean, that would have actually worked, but I don't think it's that. Uh, Zach Braff probably did host, but not with the St. Lunatics. Minus Nelly, just the Lunatics? Just the Lunatics. No, I'm not on that, too. Terrence Howard was big. You had traffic at the time. The stain was big about five, six years earlier. Is it LaBeouf and Avril? 
I'm actually gonna go be Terrence Howard uh, from the Swim Team movie and stained Aaron Lewis, big deep voice with a bald head. What is the Swim Team movie? You did a movie called F Courage or something? I thought it was Pride. Pride, that's what it is. <laughs> I know that one. You know movie, that movie? Bro. Good movie, you got some points there, that's a good movie. Listen, it's a, don't go it is a, uh, no, uh, Pride. <laughs> it is a, an urban swim team. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's a movie very inspirational, he's got a single tier and, he, and they swim and they learn and they win the race. I love it. Yeah. And I was thinking swim fan all along. <laughs> very different. Swim fan, very different. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's a very Christian different swim. movie. Uh, the correct answer is Shia LaBeouf. Ah. Ah. All right, Shia came out there and there were sketches where he played Tobey Maguire while Avril appeared in a Dakota Fanning skit. Yeah. Uh, she played Girlfriend and I Can Do Better. That sounds great. All right. Great episode. We got a video clip too, guys. Okay. Yeah. I want more takes from D'Angelo on the movie Pride. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's it's really good. Afterwards. On your marks. He's crying. He was going for the Oscar for Pride. All right, what do you got? 1992, Steve Young wins the MVP award. All right, mm -hmm. it was one of these awesome seasons because Joe Montana was the quarterback forever. They put Steve Young in, and then he makes one crazy play in a game. Week five against the Rams. That's stupid. Look at that candlestick field. I love it. Mm -hmm. What happens on this play that is so iconic and really already put him in the MVP conversation in week five? Was it a touchdown pass to Jerry Rice? Was it a scrambling touchdown run? Was it a touchdown pass to Brent Jones? Mm -hmm. Or was it a TD reception that Young caught from fullback Tom Rathman throwing it? Mm. D'Angelo, we'll start with you. Oh. On the baseball field. Yeah. I'm going to say scrambling TD runs. That's Steve Young, right? I feel like I remember him almost falling down <laughs> into the end zone on an iconic plate. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be a, I think the highlight is a reception. Steve Young catches it from Tom Rathman, the fullback, you say? Yes. That's the, what I want to see. Absolutely. Nice. Running I just like his too. name is on the show. <laughs> yeah. I, Steve Young's most iconic run, I think, is against the Vikings. It is. So Jersey's that's, falling off. That's a different one. Okay. So, um, you know what? You just go with the with the stats. I'll, I'll go with TD pass to Jerry Rice because most likely that's the, that's how it is. Do you want some Pat Summerall? On a stats Thursday are for losers. Yeah. Let's get some Pat Summerall. CBS Pat Summerall, take it away. Steve Young, MVP season. Young pulls it down, comes back out. Gonna take off. And well, he could do that. Steve Young. Touchdown, 49ers. Amazing. Not the one I was thinking of. It. <laughs> I love Summerall. <laughs> Amazing. He has what you call an economy of words. He said like three <laughs> things in that whole call, and it was a beautiful call. <laughs> 49ers would beat the Rams 27 to 24. They'd go 14 and 2. Mm. He would win his second MVP two years later when he broke all the passing efficiency, and then he finally got that Super Bowl. Steve Young, one of the great quarterbacks of NFL history. We see you. Mm, the NFL continues to deal with, with the Raiders' fallout from John Gruden resigning. We heard from coaches like Brandon Staley. We heard from Mike Tomlin. We'll hear from GM Mike Mayock, his comments that he made. The first person.